Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm back with the video editing series tutorial and today we're going to be color grading or color correcting the video clips. So if you watched the previous video card above, you saw that we went about synchronizing all the clips, making it all align with the track itself and putting everything in the timeline. So before we go to the editing side, this can actually be done afterwards. Usually people do it afterwards or before. I like to color grade or color correct at least beforehand. That way when I'm editing the clips, it's not so much work apply, trying to apply color, like the correction to every single clip and whatnot because it gets a bit tedious. So I'm going to do it beforehand and then after move on to the next step where we actually edit the video bit by bit. But this stage here shouldn't really take too long, especially if it's just a correcting the color stage. Of course, you can go for the more the stylistic looking, actually color grades to a certain style that you want to achieve or you want to go for. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're here in the playlist again, or timeline, <laughs> and uh, this is some of the tracks. And then, yeah, so you can see that the, the, the footage itself, if I zoom in, okay, the footage itself looks grayed out. I mean, to somebody who's n who isn't so much into filming, videography, and um, who hasn't got an eye for this, you probably wouldn't have noticed that, hey, the colours are a bit washed out. But if you actually noticed and you noticed it's washed out, then, hey, that's good stuff. Because it, it shows that, hey, you need to fix it. Anyway, without further ado, what we're going to do is, if you go to the bottom of the DaVinci Resolve tab, you see, I mean, you may not be able to see mine just yet, but you can see it says Media, Cut, Edit, Fusion, Colour, Fairlight, and Deliver. You may, you just have to look for the one that says color. So uh, we're gonna go to where it says color, press the color tab. And you see, because everything is already kind of in the timeline already, we kind of see our clips here. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six. We see our six clips right here. So essentially what we're gonna do now is select one of them. Let's select the first one just to keep things simple. We're gonna select that and just kind of scrubs and see if it's plain. And we can see the video footage is plain. All right, because this video footage is grayed out, essentially all it really needs it's contrast and a bit of saturation you know that's all it actually needs and i'll show you even just by applying contrast and saturation we can get to that stage where it looks decent to watch and then after i'll show you the more stylistic looks so we're going to keep things simple right now we're going to select the first one here and you see if uh, you should be able to see like color wheels down here uh it says primaries on top left here i think if you i think yeah if you can see here one two three one the third one where it says color wheels if you see this drop down arrow here it says log you can select wheels, bars, or log. We're going to just keep it in log for now. Or you can also go to, I think yours might actually be in the default of wheels. So let's keep it on wheels for now, actually. Okay. So on the right hand side, if you're, if you're, you must be able to see a view like this, where this is something called nodes. So nodes is basically like, um, for example, if you're into Photoshop or even anything that has layers, it's basically like applying layers. And uh, you can kind of filter the layers out like that. So you can apply multiple layers. You can apply like a, a highly saturated node or layer and another node where it has um, high contrast and you kind of create serial nodes and whatnot and it's kind of cool you can add parallel nodes and whatnot it's just some cool features here so this is the nodes if you can't see the nodes thing just press up here and press this nodes right here okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some saturation we're going to experiment with saturation okay so where it says saturation, you see at the bottom here it says saturation. It's the default value is at 50. We're going to increase that to just increase it until it looks good to our eyes, essentially. Just like when you're on mixing audio, with video, you kind of want to look with your eyes, mainly with your eyes. Everything's with your eyes, with video. You know, and of course, if you have a, 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 a calibrated display or graphics display, which actually shows you the true colors, you'll be able to see accurately the color profile of whatever you're viewing. That's a bit technical, but anyway. We're going to use our eyes. So we're just going to kind of increase the saturation until it um, gets to, uh, hold on, can we, come? okay, no, we're not going to go in the wheels tab. Let me kind of revert this. Actually, we are going to go in the wheels tab. So I'm, I made a mistake. I need to go to the beginning here. Okay. Now we're going to go back to saturation because the reason why it wasn't showing is because I, I was far in the clip and um, when we go to the edit page, clip one kind of gets, um, lost out here so we're gonna what we could do is disable all these other tracks by pressing d by selecting them and then pressing d so it kind of hides out so we're gonna go back to color the color tab and then what we're gonna do now is select number one again and then we're gonna increase the saturation so we're gonna increase it you can see as we increase it the footage gets brighter but we don't want to be at 100 saturation that looks too look if you play that look look at it i mean you could do that essentially but i don't think that's the best way to actually go about doing this 
um, to actually bring in more punch and whatnot. Because you can see that it, it still looks a bit washed out a bit. There's not much contrast. So what you kind of want to do is increase the saturation and increase the contrast at the same time. You can also play with something called shadows and highlights. You can also decrease the shadows to make things more darker. The shadows are the darkest points of the of the um, footage, and the sh highlights are the lightest points of the footage. So you can also see if we just kind of revert that back to fifty, where it says shadows and highlights. You can see it says even this is there's even an option to, for the color boost. So we can even increase the color boost like this. But you see, as we increase it to the max, the footage gets basically blown out in a sense. Like that so we're going to kind of uh, put that back to its uh, default value which is 50. so the shadows here if we increase the shadows oh no i think the, the default value was zero for the color boost if we increase the shadows you see the the darkest points become lighter all right and then if we go back to zero if we decrease the shadows the darkest points become darker until it hits the floor the floor is zero I th if i open up the scopes here let me see if i can open this a bit wider okay yeah okay so you see this this is something called scopes if you're if you're like if you've been mixing and mastering for a while you kind of understand how metering works all right this is scopes or you can call it the this is the parade scope this is the waveform this is the histogram and this is the vector scope i'm going to show you just the parade for now the reason why the darkest points is at zero and the the lightest point, the the the, sh the lightest or the brightest point is at 1023 here. So as I, if, if you watch this scope here, I'm just going to kind of place it here. I'm just teaching you kind of the basics of how this color section here works. Okay. If I de increase the shadows, you see where it says 256, the, the lightest points, the darkest points now is at 256. All right. And if I decrease it back down to wherever it was, that as I decrease it, it's now at zero and you kind of see what it does to this other way the waveform and the vector scope and histogram and whatnot you know type of thing and um if, now if i reduce that back to just zero just leave that there the darkest point right now is 128 okay there's multiple ways we can actually get down like if you have a camera that has a good dynamic range you'll be able to see um the dynamic range you'll be able to see the the darkest but the darkest parts will remain as dark the lightest parts will remain as bright and you can have that whole contrast and that that's what introduces the range dynamic range of a video uh file i guess okay so the highlights same thing if we increase it um the light the loudest the brightest parts become bright and eventually it starts clipping we don't really want to be it to be clipping otherwise it just gets blown out in there okay and then if we reduce the highlights and you see the lightest parts become not light but it becomes low and um uh, what that does essentially is that the, the image or the video file is not bright enough and it, it doesn't it's not bright you know we like to, as humans we like to we like things that are bright and uh most times most times if you actually watch movies and whatnot you see that not a lot of movies are actually bright 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 they're actually kind of dimmed a bit to give it that more of a cinematic look so sometimes you see movies the highlights are a bit low but it depends on the style you're going for so we're going to leave that at its um default for now uh, we're going to bring the scopes on here. I'm going to bring it above my uh, video file. So we're going to keep it there. We're going to just play with the contrast and saturation. So we're, the first thing I'm going to do is the saturation. I'm going to bring the saturation to about 80 like that. And you can see as I introduce more, you see this is the red, green, blue, RGB, blue, RGB. That's it. You, can, you, kinda, you should probably already kind of have a sense of what that is. So as we increase, we can see how much more the reds and the blues are actually being more introduced. So we're just going to increase the saturation to let's say 65 70 let's do 70 for now okay i think that's kind of fine there well, now what i'm going to do is increase the contrast so the contrast i'm going to press this button here contrast increase it a bit like that and let's play some of the clips to actually get see what's happening here so we can see that yeah it's um let's see how it looked like before before just with pressing this button before after before after a bit better okay all we could also do we can also play with the color temperature just a bit and when you adjust this color temperature tool you don't want it to be going too much either side you don't want to be going you don't want to be um going overboard and i usually just adjust it a bit because I'll, let's just show you what the color temperature does so if you go the negative side or in terms of this one here you're going to go cooler if you go the uh, positive side of things you're going to go warmer so if you go positive warm negative blue and you can kind of see it on the scopes here more of the blue sides are more introduced you kind of see it. and if i go to the positive side again 
more red so the B blues are not even there they're non-existent so we're going to just kind of bring that back to zero and we're just going to kind of see which way we kind of want it to be so we're going to go to the negatives like that and looks you can see it looks more cooler we could bring in more orange but i want it to be more on the cooler side just a tad bit so i can get more of his natural skin tones in there then the tint the tint is like the green and the i think it's a bit of the pinks so you kind of see how the temperature is the blue and the orange or warm side of things and the opposite of that ish or the other side of that is the, the actual pink and uh, the greens okay so we kind of make it more greenish or more pinkish and then i think it's up this yeah we're gonna actually bring it back to zero and just kind of see how it looks like if we were to just adjust it a tad bit so you see i, I don't want that green tone i don't want, really want that green tone here i want it to be more natural so i think i want to just go for a tint of one i think that probably even didn't do anything but we're gonna go just for one okay then what i want to do now is kind of increase the highlights a bit the highlights are low and i don't want to keep increasing the contrast so you don't you want to kind of increase the highlights so that all the exposure you can increase the exposure by pressing this button here actually you can't do that because it's not a raw file so what we could actually just do is just go back to this and then we can just increase the highlights and the shadows okay so we're going to increase the highlights and the shadows so where it says highlights um we're going to increase that until we get to, i think the max is 100 so right now the highlights of where this highlights is actually is right now you can see the highlights are here this is the max point here we want to kind of extend this range here because the average right now is averaging around here we're going to just want to extend this to make this image a bit brighter so we're going to go to the highlights and there's so much it can actually go to because this is the, essentially the the brightest part but um we can actually um, kind of go over that and just go as much as we can so i just want to make him brighter like that then we can also do the same thing with the shadows because that's what's kind of because the image overall is a dark image so we're going to kind of increase the the brightness of the shadow just a tad bit then possibly even add some more contrast so increase the shadows a bit and uh let's play it of these willing to bust me i've seen so much i need so young don't question the credit just trust me the money the more of the web's explosive don't get cool get bust G. the ot goons we roll with stuff we step on dead from the cool man's bluff the money the bands the countless grands and sticks we're trying to make things rough so now you can see that the highlights because we extended that now that if we go to a different portion of the video, you can see here. In a block with dirty stuff, we get. So now that if we to decrease the highlights here, see the, the, the lightest parts kind of get thing. But I don't want to kind of clip them too much, so I'm just going to go about it here. Uh, 55. Scracking a pop it off. All teasing about with stuff. Cracky bang the collection of cough. Alright, so that's kind of the basics of just adding some color correction. I'm going to increase the contrast a tad bit as well and just make it look more grittier. Alright, so I'm gonna go to 1.274. Blow with Tim's or T, right? That's a bit too much. This beat, I'm riding for chopper. In the block, we brought down jeans. NSG, I ran out of options. Leroy's in the. And that's fine, I'm gonna keep it there, just like that. Then now, what we could do is because we, we've applied it to one of the clips, I'm gonna go back to the where it says edit mode. And I'm gonna re enable each of these clips by pressing D, 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 and D. Alright? Then I'm gonna go back to the color tab. And then, essentially, to copy this color grade onto all of these other ones here all you really need to do is click on the ones that haven't got the color grade so i'm going to click on this one and just kind of drag it through here just this have a look or just click on what well, you see click on the ones that haven't got any of the color grades so the, the one of the color grades are the ones with the colored um square thing rectangular thing here around the number so we're going to click we're going to use our mouse and we're going to press this middle button on our mouse uh, while still selected onto this main thing so we're going to tap that there and then it applies it there we're going to do the same thing so this one i think we can actually hold hold yeah hold shift on all of them on the ones that are unselected and then go to one that has the color grade and then on your mouse scroll wheel click that button just like that and then they should all be applied just like that okay so now we play we can see that hey all of them actually have some colors we introduced now and this red is really popping now look so i play without the color grade with the color grade now just like that so if we play it now need the more of the web's explosive don't get cool get bust g the ot goons we roll with stuff we step around dead from the cool man's bluff the money the bands the countless grands and sticks we're trying to make things rough all right so that's good now that's looking at least decent for now so if we go back to the edit tab now we can begin to edit okay so now if you even if you play the slow motion clip this is the slow motion clip let me hide this out the way now 
so that everything is looking a bit better. Think these tunes in the jigs don't improve. The OT guys, we get this cracked and slapped it off and shoot. Alright, so in the next video, of course, we'll be going through actually how to how I will go about um going about actually arranging the clips to actually edit and um, edit selections and choices to actually go about editing but this video kind of just kind of covered the basics of co correcting a bit of the colors uh, the colors of the footage and whatnot sometimes if you shoot with different color of different like cameras you definitely gonna have to do a lot of correction especially if you use a drone and you, and you haven't actually set the, the, the matching white balance and whatnot there's going to be some clashing going there or some you're going to need to definitely correct it but see this is the footage now it looks more brighter it looks more full of life like before i don't know if you've noticed it was lacking life with the the washed out image footage so that's essentially this video in a nutshell with the next video we'll definitely go over actually actually arrange the clips but i also be doing a proper uh beginners tutorial guide on actually how to use davinci resolve because a lot of people have been asking how do you use this program and uh, i'll be doing a shortcuts guide plus a just the basics for beginners actually actually how to actually even use the program but if you're following these videos i've I believe you should have an understanding of how to actually use it if you're watching and you're doing it at the same time as well. So hopefully you guys are doing that. Also keep in mind that eventually um, when this when I finish editing this, this video, I want you guys to send in uh, your video submissions and then I'll be choosing a winner. I'll be choosing three winners. So the first one, of course, will get a bigger prize than the second winner, than the third winner and the runners up type of thing. So I want you all to submit your video tracks as well eventually. But um, that I'll announce a bit more as the as a series to the video series tutorial continues so uh, i want to thank you guys for watching until the very end if you watched the very end please comment with the hashtag hashtag more in the comments because it lets me know that you actually watched watch this video to the end and it's worth my time actually creating these videos like this but without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video peace